This might look like a regular blow dry brush to you, but little do you know, it's a transforming blow dryer. Let's see if it works. There have been a lot of requests in my comment section for this one, you guys, and it is because obviously this is the dupe for the beloved Dyson Airwrap, and it sits at a much more affordable price point. The Shark Flex style is hundreds of dollars less than the Dyson Airwrap, but it seems to offer many of the same benefits. Is the Dyson Airwrap awesome? Yeah, it is. It's awesome, you guys. Of course it's awesome. Is this awesome? We're about to find out today in this completely unsponsored video. Let's go. All right, first, let me show you how the Shark Flex Style price list works because it's a little bit different than other things on the market and it's kind of cool actually. So you can buy this kit that is best for straight and wavy hair, this kit that's best for curly or coily hair, or you can build your own styler by choosing the three attachment options that you want. I chose the customizable kit and I chose it with the diffuser, with the blow up brush and with the auto wrap curler attachments. And today we're gonna test them out together. Let's talk about the diffuser first. This is a very large diffuser and it's very, very nice. It definitely feels like a high quality item. My favorite thing about it is that there is a latch here that you can move to adjust the prongs. If you adjust it to the higher position, it works really well for longer hair and for reaching the roots. If you adjust it to the lower position, it works really well for shorter hair and for styling the ends. I like diffusers with movable prongs a lot because I find that it allows me the styling flexibility to get more volume in my hair. I just adjust that prong so that it's lifted up. And when I diffuse my roots, I'm infusing volume, but I'm not collapsing the root or collapsing the curl. And that's really cool. I just discovered diffusers with movable prongs this year, and it really does make a difference. It's really awesome. And it's fantastic if you have like really thick or super long hair, it really is a great feature to have. When I diffuse my hair, I always start by hover diffusing on max heat and max speed. And then I place my hair into the diffuser starting with the roots. I diffuse the roots first and then I finish with the ends. I did my regular routine with this tool and it worked really, really well. As you can see in these clips, I did adjust the tool to sit in an L shape because it was a lot easier to hold that way. It really is easy to adjust that feature. You just have to take the latch, push it down, and then turn the tool. I think this is my favorite feature of the Shark Flex style because it makes it really ergonomically comfortable to hold, and it's something that the Dyson doesn't offer. The Dyson also does not have a diffuser attachment. So if you choose to get the Dyson, but you have naturally curly hair that you like to wear curly sometimes, you will need that tool to create certain looks, but you'll also need a traditional blow dryer with a diffuser. Shark was really smart here when they were designing this because that is probably the biggest selling feature for this tool over the Dyson, in my opinion, if you have wavy or curly hair. If you have this kit and you have curly hair, you do not need to get another blow dryer. You can do all of the styles you want with the stool and with the attachments that it offers. If you take a look at my hair when it's all finished here, you can see how nice, full, and soft it looks. My hair is wavy, it is not curly, so I don't have perfect ringlets and not every piece of hair is perfect, but that just honestly has to do with my hair texture. It really has nothing to do with the tool itself, so don't judge the tool based on that. 10 out of 10 for this diffuser. Well done, Shark Flex style. That one was really good. That is a great, great attachment in this kit. Let's talk about the blow dry brush next. This is the one that I was most excited to test out because blow dry brushes are my favorite hot tools of all time and I literally could never, ever, ever live without one now that I have one. The one that I use on a regular basis is the Tymo one. To be totally honest, it's not exceptionally high quality, but it's super inexpensive and it works very, very well. 90% of the reason my hair ever looks nice is because of that hot tool. It's always the first thing I reach for in my bathroom when I'm styling my hair. So I'm really curious to see how this 
guy compares. How are you gonna do compared to the Timo? When I look at this brush, I can see that it has a mixture of plastic bristles and like natural hair bristles, and it has this shiny base here that heats up. So it looks pretty darn good. It looks like it's going to do a great job because it has all the things in it here that we love for blowing out and smoothing in a blow up brush. So let's see what happens. All right, when I blow dry with it, on the other hand, the thing that I cannot help but notice is that where the brush attaches to the tool, there is a tiny gap and my hair wants to get caught in there and break off. I can actually feel these little pinches because my hair wraps around that area, gets caught and rips out. It's not bad, bad, but it's enough that I definitely notice it and it annoys me. As for the end result, it looks really nice and the tool definitely works well, but I still find that my hair looks a lot glossier and better with the Timo brush. It's a hard competitor, you know, cause I just love that tool so much. Like if I did half my hair with the Timo and half my hair with the Shark, if someone else who doesn't like completely dedicate their life to testing hot tools and analyzing hair was looking at my hair side to side, they likely wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But if I was in the bathroom and I had both tools in front of me and I had to reach for one, I would definitely reach for Timo because it doesn't rip my hair out and I generally just think the end result looks nicer. Now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's try the auto wrap curlers. Just like the Dyson, this is tricky to get a handle on. If you're not good with hair, it will take you a little time to master it. There are two barrels with two different directions. So if you wanna curl away from the face, you need to use the barrel that shows the direction that you want. The problem with that is that if you wanna alternate the direction of the curl, so you want one that curls towards the face, one that curls away from the face, one that comes towards and so forth, you cannot comfortably use this tool because you will be changing your attachments like a hundred times and it's gonna take forever. If you're okay with both sides curling away from the face, then you will be fine with this because you can split your hair in half like I did here and just do one side at a time. In my opinion, here is one of the biggest disadvantages of this tool. If you have textured hair, this obviously won't smooth it out really well. As you guys know, I have wavy hair. So this tool does work, but I did have to straighten my roots in certain areas because they were kind of kinked. If your hair is coilier or curlier than mine, I honestly don't see how this would work because you need something with tension to blow the hair out smooth first before you use it. Here's the end result. I know a lot of you guys will think this is beautiful, but honestly, it's not my favorite look. I don't know, I don't love it. I don't like it when the ends of the hair are curled. I find it kind of outdated. I also don't love how the curls are so focused in like the mid shaft area because it protrudes right in the center of the face. I personally just feel like a curling iron or a curling wand looks a lot more flattering. If I had this in my bathroom, I would never ever reach for it. I would much rather blow up my hair with a blowout brush, get it nice and smooth and glossy, and then with a wand or an iron, I would go in and create a more modern curl. With that said though, that doesn't mean that's what's right for me isn't right for you. If you have straight hair that's already smooth, this may give you loads of volume and let you entirely skip a step in your getting ready routine, since it does blow your hair out and curl it at the same time. All right, what are my final thoughts after all of that? I think this is a great tool for so many reasons and I love that you don't need a blow dryer as well as this tool. If you have this, your bases are covered because of the attachment options. The fact that they have a diffuser is amazing and the fact that they have the air concentrator attachment is also awesome. Being able to twist the machine is also great because that really helps you style your hair in a way that's ergonomically comfortable and customizable to you. What I don't love is the fact that the blow up brush snags and I also don't love love the way that my hair looks when styled with the curler attachment, but that again is personal preference and maybe you'll love that on yourself. So should you buy it? The final question, right? The real question. You do you, boo. If you do buy it though, let me know what you think in the comments section below. It's definitely really good. Is it the, my favorite hot tool of all time? No, but could it be your favorite hot tool of all time? Yes, it could. There's definitely potential. If you guys wanna know what I think about the cordless automatic curler that has gone viral all over TikTok, I tested that one out too. So check out that video next right here. I'll see you next week.